100 sea turtles come through the doors of the National Aquarium in need of help every year. But the rescue and recovery is also a big expense. Rachel Menasoff explains why the Baltimore facility and others around the country want Congress to pitch in. Behind the scenes at the National Aquarium. So, vitamin for him? Kate Schaefer works directly with its sea turtles, like this guy, Pecorino, who has brain injuries consistent with a boat strike. There's a lot of different factors that they're facing out there in the natural environment. Every year, the National Aquarium spends about $600,000 rescuing and rehabbing this endangered population, which faces a whole host of challenges in its natural environment. Many of them happen to be man made. So, we feel that anything. That we can do to help those populations recover um, is contributing to species conservation for these animals. But it's not getting any federal dollars to do this. Instead, it taps into ticket sales and other operating costs. And about 50 other organizations are doing the same. One thing that we found in our conversation with members of Congress is most people think this is already happening. Most people think there already are grant programs that directly support this work. Ryan Fredrickson says that's why Baltimore's National Aquarium is leading a nationwide effort to increase federal funding, to treat, rehab, and ultimately release sea turtles now and for years to come. So, what we're trying to do is we're trying to identify that funding gap. And then trying to fill it. Maryland Senator Chris Van Hollen sent a letter to Congress asking that it create a $5 million pilot program to help with these rehabilitation efforts here in Baltimore and at organizations around the country. At the National Aquarium, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.